doing today? What's up guys? Uh, right now, I am driving to Best Buy and I'm gonna get a 4K TV. Let me try that again, 4K TV, that's right. Um, I've been doing a lot of research. Now I have a budget, right? I'm, I can't get like the $3,000 4K TV. So I'm looking for a budget under $1,000 and uh, I got my eye on a, a Samsung model. It's the Samsung uh, 6290. I know those four numbers are in there somewhere. So anyway, I figured I would document this. So I'm heading to Best Buy right now and uh, I'll see you guys over there. my car there is the player there is the TV back there all that all that TV so I'm heading to the house right now I can hardly contain my excitement uh, I'm gonna be a busy boy though because I got a lot of work to do to get this thing on the wall and uh, get everything up get everything plugged in probably gonna be a couple hours so oh, lights green gotta go okay we are in the house now there is the TV we got to get that up there so we're gonna take that TV down put that TV up. All right guys, uh, I just opened it. Here is the remote. I've heard that this remote is very basic and that's a, that is exactly what it is, you can tell. So we'll see how it uh, functions well with the TV once it's up and going. So yeah, there's the remote and it comes with, you got your, this almost looks like a hybrid of composites and components. Yeah, there's all your extra plugs. I won't be using those though because I'll be using HDMI. My HDMI is in my walls. It goes all the way up my walls, up the ceiling, and then it goes behind the TV there. So as you can see, I got the box open. This is what the TV looks like inside. Yeah, you can see it's housed pretty well. They got a, a piece of cardboard in front here for extra protection. There's Levi kind of uh, moaning a little bit. He doesn't like big boxes. This is what your base looks like, but I'm not gonna be using that because I'm gonna be installing it on the wall. But yeah, there's the bottom. Okay, so this is the mounting bracket from my old TV. It goes up to 55 inches, and this is the back of the new TV. And while I'm here, might as well show you what the back looks like. Yeah, as you can see, all three HDMI inputs are right here. And uh, you got two USBs right there. And I apologize for the light. And then you got a LAN in right there and you got two one eighth inputs right here. Those are, that's for your component ends. So, and then there's your coax. Okay, luckily my mounting bracket was, I mean, just right. Uh, I, I had to put the screws at the very ends of the bracket as you can see right there. But uh, we're good to go, and luckily I kept all my screws. So keep all your screws, guys, from your uh, your mounting brackets because uh, you never know when you might need it again. Because these things can get expensive too, actually. So now we got to get it off the wall. You can see I already got everything off the wall there, and uh, there's my sound bar, and my sound bar is uh, optical. So luckily this TV has an optical input, and. Uh, you can see my HDMI cables coming out of my wall and can't stress this enough guys get you one of these this uh, will save you from lightning storms uh, lightning actually fried my old TV and luckily I was able to find a main board as a matter of fact that's my very first Dum Dums video is me changing out that main board on my old TV and luckily it worked but uh, I went out and I bought surge protectors for all my electronics and this is a very important one, right behind your TV. Get you one of these, get one that actually has the plugs that stick out to the side, not in the front, because if you have them in the front, then it's gonna get in the way of your TV. See how clear it looks because it looks freaking amazing. Oh. 
Okay guys, there it is. Uh, it's been a few days. Uh, I, I messed with the settings quite a bit. And what you see on screen right now is the settings that I came up with uh, based on my conditions. So it could be a little bit different for you guys. But right out of the box, I would definitely do some research, uh, get the best settings that you can for your setup. And also, if you're wondering what I did with the uh, my 3D TV, I will show you right now. Going in the Evil Drum Dums layer right now. Um, and you can see right on the screen right now that uh, the 3D TV is where the old 1983 Color Track 2000 used to be. And now the Color Track 2000 is actually next to my backdrop. So uh, I kind of like it. I'm going to try it out for a few reviews and see how it goes. Uh, I moved the Stormtrooper next to Darth Vader, whereas I used to have both of them on either side of me. So just trying some different things out. Oh, but I'm sitting down right now. Um, so I guess this is it, guys. That's the end of our 4K TV journey. Had a lot of fun. I'm excited I got a 4K TV now. I plan on collecting a few 4K movies down the line. Uh, but I watched Logan the other night. It looked freaking amazing. So really excited about this. So uh, on the Drum Dumps front, stay tuned for my Raw review. I'm going to be watching that tonight and trying to get a review out for that possibly tomorrow. Uh, and Scream Stream should be kicking back up on Tuesday. Looking forward to that with CP and Zach. Also, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Uh, I popped a couple of uh, recent reviews up here for you to check out. And uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions in the comments about this 4K TV journey or whatever, let me know. I'd be happy to answer anything, uh, especially about this particular model, the Samsung 6290. And if you're not a member of Killer Flicks, make sure you come over and become a member on Facebook. Uh, we talk horror all day, every day, and on Fridays, we do Free Fall Fridays. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and drum dumb out.